It is Lunas Macho Monday. Ian Torch here and the first LMM of the year. Folks, goddamn. Wrapping up last year with a gut punch. Hopefully, we get a rematch and 2021 is a little better. Oh, good God. But right now, we gotta talk about the new stuff. It's time for new business. I know, Gomez, usually we talk about new business in the next quarter, but we got to. Game Changer Wrestling already starting the year off. They got some new stuff on Fight 56 Nights. You got to check this out. There's some big matches going on thanks to them. We've got other promotions. They'll be starting back up later in the month. Wrestling looks like it's getting back on track, which if we're still at level five, that's... um, That's going to add some excitement, that's for sure. So, (laughs) I guess we're just going to have to stay tuned to that. However, big props to Brent McKenzie for being the 2020 Wrestler of the Year. At least in Texas. I'll be finding out about the rest soon enough, hopefully. And maybe y'all can be kind enough and help me out a little bit. Well, one thing's for sure, at least in Texas wrestling, Houston is becoming the hot spot yet again. So we're going to see what's going on with that. And I might need to do a follow-up on a promotion that I put in the hot seat a, a minute ago or so. But enough about that. On to the show. Welcome to another episode of Monday. Oh, yeah. We're going to add a segment here. Hold on. Let's back up. We got our tag match. Lots of singles. Oh, so you know what that means. We got us a triple threat. Okay, we do have a ladies match. So, let's actually make this a true mixed match. Why not? Live from our studio... Use some top contenders. Oh, they certainly did update some stuff here. Yeah. You know what? Let's have some of our number one contenders for the titles. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be Ziggy Thrash. Amari Fang and Reba Roughneck in a triple threat. Winner gets a shot at their respected belt. We've got the what in the factor of Ziggy Thrash against the undeniable passion of Amari Fang. But will Reba Roughneck knock it out of the park with her MVP performance? This match is brought to you by Action Figure Toys. That's right, we got a new sponsor. So there we go with that. Yoshimura will be defending the belt against Jin Kenji. That should make things a little more interesting. 
the wrestling critic from Yoshimuro with Jin Kenji having Zeta Quaid in his corner. Who will Ziggy Thrash be facing if he comes out on top? That just made things a lot more interesting, folks. And we have Carolina Strutter and Warhawk squaring off. And depending on if Reba Roughneck wins that triple threat, one of these ladies might be taking on Thompson very soon. And with Cotton Candy in Carolina's corner, that ought to add a little bit. With Warhawk opting to stand alone. And it'll be a Lumberjill match for the ladies. One person who's definitely wanting to get seen again is Thumper Moore. And Greg Quebec is chomping at the bit. But will the, will the limelight leader be conquered by the vile act of vigilante. We will soon find out. Man, oh man, Chugger's gonna have his hands full tonight as he steps up against the Shaolin hero. They who protect the innocent against a standard bear like none other. And what's this Zed is getting in the ring for the first time this year? That's shocking the crowd, that's for sure. With another intergender match. But who would be crazy enough to get in the ring against him? What lady's actually gonna wanna get in the ring with that behemoth? What, did, did, Rihanna, did Rihanna just step up? This is, this is kinda shocking, but hey, new year, new vibes. You never know. Speaking of never knowing, Morbid and Apex wanting another swing at the tag champs. But the paper chasers, ah, oh, they want their shot. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. Whether we like it or not. Let's not forget, we have new merch as well. Which it looks like We'll be revealing that at the next pay-per-view. So these are the top three contenders for each title up for grabs. We've got Ziggy Thrash, Reba Roughneck, and Amari Fang. And this is All Out Warfare. Who will get their chance? Who will get their opportunity at the belt? And with the ground and pound, Reba Roughneck is the one to pick up the win. Next, we have the tag team match elimination style. 
Whoever wins this will go on to face Max Contract. And folks, it is getting heated. It is fast paced and neither team is letting up. And the Paper Chasers come up with the win. This, this was an unexpected match right here and Zed quickly picking up the win. Here we have Chugger and Shaolin Hero. Good God, they're back and forth, but with the Shaolin flow, our hero gets the win. But now we have more Quebec, more Quebec. Time limit draw, what's going on here? This Lumberjill match, this right here, this is chaos, and Warhawk might be facing Reba. But right now we have the television title up for grabs. And with a little listen closely, Jin. Kenji is taken out by Yoshimuro. Now let's forget, let's not forget folks that right now the wrestling world is picking back up depending on how things are going. But we do have some heavy stuff happening near the end of January. More on that as it comes up. You will be given names and dates. And let's not forget that in February, Everything's starting to get even more exciting, even more fast-paced, heading closer to Mania Weekend. However, we still have to focus on January and February before any of that can even come to mind. So until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notifier to stay up to date on everything that's going on with Lunas Macho Monday. And if you can think of any one, any place, any event I should keep an eye out for, drop that in the comments section, and I will definitely keep an eye out for them. But until next time, that's it! It's over! Ring the bell!